talking about the wells of salvation. And I wanted to continue to talk about that. I'm talking about the wells of salvation because it was the wells of salvation, the deep wells that brought that prodigal son back home. It was the wells, the hope of eternal salvation that brought that father, made that father run after that son. That's the well of salvation. And that's what God does for us. You need to tell your story. Anytime you get a chance to, if you've got a listening audience, tell your story. And your story is simple. We talked about that. You weren't, once were in darkness, now Jesus saved you, you're in the light, and I'm going to heaven. It's that simple, but you're sowing a seed. And the Bible says in Isaiah 54, 17, that that seed will not retur return void, but it will accomplish that which it's sent forth to do. I believe that. I bank on that with my home family. And I know that you do too. So we're talking about the wells of salvation. The old, I once was dead in my sin. My life was black and it was distorted. It was very confused. I was a confused teenager. The new Jesus came. He converted me. He saved my soul. He did it. That's why I'm so grateful for the wells of salvation. It's not a one-time deal that I got saved and I'm, now I'm just going on and living my life. Salvation is the beginning of a new day for you. It will change everything about you. Amen? That's what he wants us to do. He wants us to come to the wells of salvation. The hymn goes like this. It's found in Isaiah chapter 12, verse 1. He asked, the, the prophet says, have you ever considered this? And then this, this song, that's what it was, a song was sang by Isaiah the prophet and the people of Judah. And this is how it went. Verse 1, I will give thanks to you, Yahweh, for though you were once angry with me, your anger has turned away and you've come to comfort me. And I told you yesterday that, that, yesterday that that Greek word comfort goes back to when someone is so distraught, so depressed that they can't go on any further. And you, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, came to comfort us. He came to give us exactly what we need. Amen? And listen to Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. Indeed, this is saying, this was sung, God indeed, God is my salvation. I will trust Him and not be afraid. For the Lord, the Lord Himself is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. And I think that's the point I want to drive home. Is your salvation, is it personal to you? Is it your salvation? It is. He has become my salvation, your salvation. You'll make it. You're going to make it because Jesus is on your side and he's the master of deliverer. He knows how to deliver us. He knows how to take care of us. This is what Peter said. In Acts chapter 10, verse 38, he said, How God anointed Jesus Christ to Nazareth, who went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed. This could be bigger than a physical ailment. And this is all related to not knowing your salvation. To those who are oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. So God anointed his son to set the captives free, to set those free that are oppressed. Notice, Peter says, they're oppressed of the devil. The devil is oppressing them. And I believe it's because we don't know who we are in the Lord Jesus Christ that we, when we dive into this deep water of salvation, it will take us places and great things will happen. I'm encouraging you as your pastor to dream to see things with a different mindset because God's on your side. You're not alone. 
The Lord is with you. Until next time, God bless you.